some <laughs> colors in here that are like the emperor's new clothes, okay? They disappear. Enough said, because this is a positive message. Well, this new crazy mother Hey Glow Beauties, I have a mega major luxury haul and a little bit of affordable thrown in today. I'm so excited because it's a nice old fashioned luxury haul. It's actually the easiest thing for me to do, I confess. It's the easiest thing for me to do right now because I started a new job, there's new challenges. I do have to do a lot of pacing because of this autoimmune disorder that I have. So with that, hauls are easy to do. Also, it gives you a chance, me a chance to review some of these things and do a little bit of a like, catch up in a show and tell and who doesn't like a show and tell come on you guys who doesn't like a show and tell so this is going to be a fun show and tell mini review a luxury haul and also just remember to subscribe to my channel there are some nice things in here there is dame mother pat there is natasha denona there is listen cleonad cosmetics and emily violet marie there is Cartier. We got a lot going on here. You don't want to miss out. I also list everything in the description box. Do use those links because it's easy to get to what we're talking about here. And also it's an affiliate links. It's no cost to you, but it helps support my channel. I don't make that much money. In fact, I have not seen any money from these affiliate links yet because I haven't reached the threshold yet, but it still supports my channel. And don't forget to like this video because it pushes it out into the algorithm stratos stratosphere. So anyway, listen, we're gonna got get a lot to go through here. Make sure you grab, let's see, fruit and infused water or a lovely London fog tea and a snack and lettuce there's a whole bunch more than this box these boxes here let us get in first one that we're gonna start with is the Liberty look at the cute Liberty box that it came in and it came in this beautiful sleeve I will have like b-roll for it it came into this beautiful sleeve you can check on Instagram because I did the unboxing there and it was the Suku summer 20, 20 <laughs> It's the Suku Summer 2022 collection. I picked up the eyeshadow, and the thing is with Suku, whenever they come out with their cute little collections, and they have really, I love their color stories. This one isn't one of their more original color stories, I have to admit. This is more typical. It's more of like, Natasha Denona's bronze palette. It's a lovely curated summer collection and I picked it up from Liberty London and I first started with Liberty London and it was like this is my birthday present. So I picked up their, now I forgot the names of it, Hotiro. I picked up the eyeshadow palette. I believe this one's the called Kaguru 116 and this is the eyeshadow palette. The Kegaroo means heat haze, which actually means mirage. So this is the mirage palette. This is almost like a curated version of Natasha Denona's bronze palette. Beautiful summer colors. They're actually, they're generally not my colors, but I love the kind of pinky color here in the yellow and this beautiful terracotta orangey brown gorgeous these two here don't differentiate enough though i have to say so i don't know what's gonna look like as much i haven't worn it on, i confess i haven't worn it on my eyes yet so i'm looking forward to doing this i love the sleek packaging the mirror the packaging is amazing suko does such a beautiful job and i love the way they have their logo here and they always have their logo on the shadow too which is beautiful and the cute little brushes that hardly anybody uses beautiful to travel with so I picked up this from Liberty London and the thing with Zuko they're really really hard when they put out a collection baby you got to be fast on it you got to jump fast because it will be sold out within like three hours thankfully this time around they weren't they probably made a bigger production because people are complaining because that I mean that really is ridiculous right and we were able to get it not just on um, Selfridges I was able to get it at Liberty London which I was very thankful for because Selfridges has exorbitant 
shipping costs and Liberty London if you reach a certain threshold you actually I believe I got it for free the shipping or at the most minor cost okay and then I picked up their Shekuka moisture rich lipstick it's perfect for summer because you don't want a thick normal lipstick you want one of those like moisturizing glossy soft lips you know for that kind of unmade up made up look so this is perfect for the summer this is the kind of lipstick I like to wear nowadays so I picked this up I wanted to pick up the orange one but they had that one was already sold out so this was the one that's left it's more of a coral color but still lovely so this is their rainbow I call it the rainbow blushes I was so enamored with the rainbow blushes and the the component is so sleek look at this it's beautiful Suku goes all out open it up and there is the rainbow blush and it goes from like the deeper peachy coral to the peach now I thought that was peach but it kind of comes out more of a highlighter let me see here let me see if we can do this okay Actually, it is a peachy color but it's a bit light for me it looks a little bit you know what's it called again when it ashy I think it might look a little bit ashy but you can mix the two together I wanted to get the melting powder blush that went with the collection but I I was more enamored with this I decided to get this instead and then after I ordered it I had second thoughts said to myself you know what I do want to complete the collection and I was intrigued with the melting powder formula because it's almost like a kind of a cushiony a little bit wet formula and I did want to try it out because everybody's been raving about it and I just kind of wanted to complete the collection to have it like fully complete so I did relent and caved and did go on Selfridges which has extortionist I'm sorry Selfridges I don't mean to be mean I'm really not I just think that you can do better with your shipping okay because that is extortionist prices and when you can get it at Liberty London for free come on now Selfridges has the cutest packaging ever so it comes in like this okay I will show the b-roll you know and the beautiful yellow of their color and then it comes with this and you get the little bag I love it so much as you do go all out I have to say right so I couldn't resist I did get the melting powder blush so this is it and again it looks like this very sleek a little bit different than this one um, but they're both very sleek and this is what it looks like so I did end up getting the complete set so I'm very very happy that I was able to do that haven't worn it yet still got to wear it and see what it's like but I'm believing that it's gonna look absolutely gorgeous on next I did order from the Sephora sale I couldn't resist everybody was talking about the summer unrated eyeshadow palette I have their last year's palette which I really liked and so I picked up this one and this is the way it looks it's very nice again it's in the color scheme of the Suku a little bit more bronzy color there's a little bit pink in there there's a little bit of that beautiful bronzy what would you call it like a ready bronze so these are lovely colors for the summer when you're not a super colorful gal but you want to rock the look of summer so this is beautiful I haven't even swatched it yet because I haven't put it on IG so I, I don't really want to swatch it right now the next one that I got from the Sephora sale which I really 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 wanted because you know I'm a color gal I'm a glitter gal I can't resist I love light refreshing colors for the summer as you can see I'm already in like we match we're, we're, we're going strong here we match so this is the Natasha Denona pastel palette so I was super excited to get this I could not resist it's her mini palette I love the colors they're amazing but you can almost see that I have to dig into some of these colors Natasha Denona as beautiful as this color story is Natasha Denona I think took the pastel too literally and so the pastel colors are kind of like you see here 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 and here they're kind of light they're they're, they're tonally light now I love the way Kat Von D interpreted the pastels because they're tonally more mid-tone so they work on a lot 
lot of varied skin tones where these pastel colors are totally rather light so I really have to build that color on my lid to make it look colorful and not too ashy I love this one but I have to build and build and build to get it to look less ashy and more impactful on the lid and then on top of that they're very powdery this palette is quite powdery compared to Natasha's other palettes for instance this one it looks pigmented but I do have to kind of apply and apply it will work but I have to apply and apply and then invariably I get powder going down my eyes here I'll get it in here I have to take tape take it off take it off here I have to do a lot of manual labor to like get this thing to work on my eyes and I don't think I should have to do that. I've never had to use tape to take off extra color off of my face because it's going all over the place. And this palette does this. The other thing is, which is the one that's ever disappearing? Either this color here or this color, I when I use it, I'll apply it, it shows up, and then a minute later, it disappears. Like literally fades and disappears, and then I have to reapply. And then it still fades and disappears. So then what I have to do is take other palettes and recreate the colors so that it will show on my lid because I want that color. So some of these colors actually fade and disappear. They're the ever invisible color. I've never experienced that with a Natasha Denona. I love the color story. I love the concept but it doesn't work very well for me. It's a love, little upset relationship with this palette, okay? And the other thing is, I really did want to see more glitter in it, but I have come to the conclusion and to the acceptance that Natasha Denona's smaller palettes are never gonna have her true, beautiful chroma crystal. What made me come for Natasha Denona originally. I'm not gonna get it in the, don't expect to get Natasha Denona's super high quality in these mini palettes, because you're not going to. If that's what you're looking for, you won't get it here. I'm an OG Natasha Denona, so I know what her original quality was, and this isn't it. Definitely not it, not this palette at all. It is a fun palette, and especially if you have lighter skin tone, you'll be able to rock it, no problem. But just remember, there are some <laughs> colors in here that are like the emperor's new clothes okay they disappear enough said because this is a positive message okay we are going to go because this is not a disappointment and I would even rate this as luxury come on now Cleona cosmetics collabing with Emily Violet Marie this is their new palette oh my god a silent moment is necessary. Okay, listen. Ooh, this is amazing. Let's see what you can see it better. Because we're gonna do some B-roll because this is not showing up. The light is coming in and out and I'm being <laughs> faded by the moment. Okay. So this one, and let me just show you the packaging because the whole presentation of this palette, I just got the palette, it's a full collection. You can get nail polish. One of the nail polishes kind of looks like the nail polish I'm wearing here. I wasn't able to get the nail polish, so I recreated it. This whole packaging is amazing. They went all out. You get the highlighter, you get the brushes, you get everything. Cleona, and the thing is, I live in Toronto where Cleona Cosmetics is birthed from. So I'm super proud of them. Very, very, very proud of them because this is a homegrown indie brand. And I'm telling you, this is a luxury indie brand. They create a luxury products, okay? Move over, Natasha Denona, because somebody's coming in. Okay, so <laughs> this is the box. You open it up. I did a whole unboxing on Instagram, so you can take a look at it there. You get the cover here, and then you get a card, a, uh, a thank you card. Then you get, this is really, really great, because they include a legend so that you get the legend of the different finishes and you get like sparkle shadow formula duochrome velvet satin formula metallic formula and two multi chrome formulas let me tell you this palette is 
yummy. And I don't mean it lightly, yummy, luscious. Some of the shadows you do have to be careful not to like be overly enthusiastic because literally they're so lush that you can make a dip in it with your finger. And then they came out with a little lookbook so you can make, I think there's two or three looks that you can make from this gives you some like inspiration. So they really went all out and I'm really, really, really happy that they made it not a paper palette. This is like, this is like Huda Beauty. Like, this is a beautiful constructed palette. Like this is professional and so much fun because it's deep, like, you know, fuchsia pink on the bottom, see-through, um, iridescent like it's it's amazing and these shadows oh my god you have to be careful not to like this one's called bubbles this one's called effervescent i think this is this is a multi-chrome this is a multi-chrome you have to be careful with these ones because if you press too much they will like dent but listen oh my god these are amazing like just amazing i'll show the swatches like these are so lush so juicy just like the dragon fruit you know i can't eat dragon fruit i made the first smoothie I ever made with dragon fruit and listen tmi dragon fruit if you have problems with constipation you will not have it with dragon fruit especially if you make a smoothie out of it like you do a screen smoothie and you put a little dragon fruit in there girl you are not gonna have any problems with constipation just make sure you're home when you do this okay don't be at work so i can't do dragon fruit just saying okay and so Oh my God, all right? These are amazing, luscious, juicy. I've always had a bit of problems saying what are my favorite palettes, okay? So I would say like uh, Pat McGrath's Motherships because they have those glitters, like her, they're phenomenal. The mattes blend to perfection. You do, like it's just a couple of swipes. You can even blend it with your finger with her mattes. Specialty shadows are unbelievably not comparable. Natasha Denona, those are my favorite palettes. This is up in the ranks. This is my favorite palette alongside those ones. And if not, even more. Did I actually say that? <laughs> it's so fun, it's so colorful. Because there's no mask, I love pairing it with my Jawbreaker palette because it has those fun summer colors in them that remind me of pastel colors. I think this is a marriage made in heaven. <laughs> and Emily Violet Marie, she loves pinks and like deep fuchsias, so it's not surprising that there's a lot of pinks and deep fuchsias in this palette. Beautiful to work with. The greens I was a little bit worried about that, like how can I incorporate it because they're very, very bright. But I use them a lot as an outer corner, which I did right now, works beautifully. So I'm able to incorporate that. And also what I like to do is for a pop on my lid, I like to mix the green with say something like this one, which is the effervescent or the Dragon Teeny. I mix them together and it kind of lightens the load of the green but still gives that green without being it too, too much, right? So I've been wearing this a lot. I've been pretty much doing like a one week palette but basically like two week one palette right now because I can't get enough of it. And this is what I'm wearing on my eye today. I am wearing, I put this on the lid, Fruit Fizz, and I added a little bit of the effervescent. These two, the greens are in the outer corner and then I used my Jabra palette and I used a ColourPop palette to do my crease so this is what I'm wearing on my lid today so I'm so happy I love this I cannot get enough of this to me this is so luscious so juicy so top of the line I consider this luxury luxury indie brand y'all I did pick up the ColourPop let's roll collection because it's so fun and it's so summery for the summer when the summer comes it's bright it's light the winter is dark here in Toronto Canada but when the summer comes everything's bright everything's light so you want to go light and bright and let's roll 
is right up the light, bright, give it to me color. So this is perfect. And this is what is like happening in clothes now anyway. So I love it. You got the shimmer on top and then you got the corresponding colors at the bottom. Everything is about roller skates. And then I did pick up the two blushes and I couldn't resist. So I did pick up the, the Super Shock Shadows because I love me my Super Shock Shadows. Listen, I love me my Periwinkle and this I could not resist because it is Periwinkle Paradise. So I am so happy this color is like my dreams, all right? My dreams. And then this one is totally amazing too. And it's so cute because even the inner packaging has the rainbows in it. The cute thing about this is, like when I was playing with it, I can actually make a purple if I want to. So it doesn't have a purple, but I wanted a purple for my look. So I basically just mixed these two colors together, the periwinkle blue and this, and you can literally make your own purple. So I didn't feel limited that I didn't have a purple because that was the only one that was missing and I needed a purple. So I'm really happy that I picked up this. The only thing is that then you get caught in the little kind of like, rabbit hole and then sometimes you buy so much that it ends up not being so super affordable. We're gonna get back to the, the luxury. <laughs> so I picked up from Beautylish. I picked up Viseart from Beautylish and of course the packaging is always again a delight and I picked up, guess what I picked up? The Petite Fours because they're so cute and they're little Petite Fours. This is a play on the Petite Fours pastries and they're meant to be these little bite-sized little pastries very french and these are the the makeup version of the bite-sized petite fours and they come in of course quads so i picked up the the green one which is called pistache i'll show you how it goes you do this comes out like this and then you've got this. They're really cute, their packaging. And there you have it. It's so cute. I figured there's like enough differentiation in the color story that you can get some nice looks out of it. And I love this about Viseart. You can move them because they're magnetized and switch them out and in, move them around. So that's really nice and versatile easy to travel with, nicely put together. And I also picked up the purple lavande and it's so cute because you've got the little box, it's got the legend at the back, they have names to the colors. You open it up and it goes down and again, a nice little variety. Well, I think green and purple go together so nicely. I could have picked up the other one, which was more the peach, because peach and purple go very, very nicely, but I thought I'd like to try the, the green. And speaking of Petite Four Perfection, I did pick up, again, from the Sephora sale, some of these. I picked up Fenty, because it's the summertime, I wanted some like cream blushes, and I wanted something that was gonna work, not only for a blush on your cheeks, but you could apply it to your lips too, and be a lot more versatile. So the first one, Ashley, I picked up, and then of course, I went all out. So I picked up the Fenty Beauty Cream Blush freestyle, what are they calling it? Oh my God, cheeks out. I picked up the Fenty Beauty Cheeks Out Cream Blushes. And I wanted a purple because I wanted to be able to have a purple for my cheeks and also to create a full look with purple lipstick. The ones that I had weren't working right to create the purple that I want. I don't want it to be a, a true literal purple, but I wanted to have a purple cast to it. So this worked out perfectly this so I use it for my cheeks and my lips and then I add other like little kind of pinkish red mixed in with it I never do a solid color for my lips I always kind of mix and do a cocktail so this is perfect purple for that and I was so happy that I got that that I kind of kind of added on to it so I went again and I bought the bikini martini one and this is like the cute hot pink. Love this for summer. Perfect summer color. Then I picked up the, <laughs> I 
Then I picked up the strawberry drip. I couldn't help myself. So there's this one. Perfect again. And I think I picked up one more. Where's the other one that I picked? I'm back. I picked up the orange one. I really wanted an orange one. So this is also on my lips and it's great orange color. So perfect because these are so versatile because you could use them on your cheeks and your lips. So I love them for that perfect for the summer then of course with Bridgerton listen I had to pick up actually I wish I held out and did not pick up the first Bridgerton and actually pick up the second Bridgerton because this is the way I really wanted to the first Bridgerton doesn't have a lot of there isn't a lot of variety in the palette, whereas this offers more variety. I'm super happy that I picked up the second version of Bridgerton. I still haven't gotten through the first version of the show yet. I still have to do it. I keep on getting distracted because now I'm watching Julia. Amazing. Love that show. Julia Child. Okay, the series. Awesome. Awesome. I highly recommend. So this is the Bridgerton number two. I love my pinks. You got your pinks. You know Pat McGrath loves her pinks. You got... You got a Blitz Astral in a non-mothership palette and I am through the roof happy. So this is my Blitz Astral, I use it everywhere. So even if I'm not using this palette, if I'm using another palette and I want a little twinkle and a little pinky kind of twinkle, I go for this one. I just open this up and I go for this. And then you've got this kind of like, she has this in another palette, okay? Uh, she's calling it a different name, but it's pretty much the same thing. So she's got this, and she's got the blue, and then she's got deep, and then she's got this one here. This is kind of like a soft version that you can almost use as a highlighter color, brow bone, whatever you want. It's there for that. So I'm really happy that I picked this up because it offers more variety. I may even sell the other one because this is the one that I'm going to right now. And then you got the blush. This is a very big blush. You gotta have a lot of space on your vanity for this or your chest of drawers for this. I'm running out of space. I wish I had the space for it. But this is really cute. I like it. I wish I liked it more because the colors are really great. But when I put it on my cheeks, they don't keep as clean and as bright as I would have liked it to be. And even um, because it's a baked formula, baked formulas tend to be a little bit more... Um, luminescent and they are more luminescent than her other blushes but not as luminescent as I thought they were gonna be so I'm not going for this as much as I thought I would and I actually also got it because I thought oh it would be great for travel because you got you know a nice little set here but it is a little big and bulky that's the thing I was thinking it was gonna be a little smaller but it's cute and if you got the space for it on your chest of drawers or whatever it's really nice to have it, it is but not necessary okay what was really cool is that Pat McGrath threw this in for free with my purchase so this is wonderful it opens up like this great packaging and you get the lipstick and the pencil lip pencil awesome this one is I forgot the name of it I'll put it on the screen but it's the red one and I don't really like red. I like pink. This is the red. It's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous, but I don't wear red. I wear pink. Fuchsia maybe? Pink, definitely. Red, not so much. But it was really nice that she throws these things in um, with purchases. A lovely surprise when you're on her website and you, and you order and you see this thrown into the basket for free. Awesome, so she's doing that a lot. I was very pleased about that. Okay, now we are coming for Cartier. I have two amazing Cartier fragrances. Listen. Cartier Fragrances is a hidden gem that needs to be talked about more. No pun intended. I seriously mean this. It is a hidden gem. Now this is the Pure line. There is some others in this Pure line that I picked up. The Pure Magnolia and oh my god. Basically this is a one note uh, fragrance. It is the Pure line. And I'm telling you. There is something about more like one note fragrances for the simplicity, the beauty, the simple note of fragrance for the summer that is absolutely can transport you. Magnolia is one of them. Oh, this is perfection. Perfection. Oh my goodness. 
Oh my goodness, this brings me back. This brings me back to a time, a simple time when I was young. I remember smelling this when I was a young girl. I never knew who was wearing or whatever, but it's a scent that I remember as a young girl. And you know when sometimes you smell something that reminds you of when you were a child and it's just the most beautiful thing, this is it. So this is Pure Magnolia by Cartier. They got it right. They got it right. I picked it up from Nordstrom's. You can pick it up, I believe, as like an afterpay. So you can do four installments if you don't want to uh, pay it all like in a big lump sum. You can do it that way. So it's really, really nice. You do have the option online to do that with this. And I just absolutely love it. Oh my God. Perfect summer scent. Let me tell you. This other one. Oh my goodness. And it comes in a set for the same price. As the bottle on its own, you can get the set with the travel spray and the cream. If I could get that cream, oh, I would be transported. This is called Cartier Basé Volé. Now, this means stolen kisses and oh my God. It is made up of lilies, whole lily, a little bit of citrus on the top and green note in the base. Now the green notes I believe may come from the actual whole lily. This is a Sole Flore. Now it's not any lily. It's not any lily. It's not the big headed white Easter lily. It is from a smaller headed lily that's white with a little bit of a green undertone to the leaves. Listen, I was going to my local flower shops to see whether I could source this lily. In my, the second flower shop, I was able to source it in a little bouquet. It smelled exactly like Basé Volé. You know how like flowers have their flower, their floral scent? It smells like that flower, right? Very kind of, both, you know, very strong and it smells like the flower. Whereas when you put your nose in this particular lily, it literally smells like God made a perfume and put it in that lily. Not like a flower note, but a perfume note is in this lily. And this is what's in this. It is amazing. Oh my goodness, it is a dream. I don't even know how to describe it. You have to smell it for yourself. And it has almost a, almost a zesty, sparkling quality to it at the same time. Very uplifting. You can wear this every day. You can wear it winter and summer. It's amazing in spring and summer, but you can literally wear it all year round. It's an, you can wear it as an office scent. It's also classy, yet every day. It is, you have to smell it to believe it. It is amazing. And you're not gonna smell like everybody else. It's almost like a niche fragrance, all in on its own. Amazing. Mathilde Laurent, I could kiss you forever for making this. You knew what you were doing when you made this. Thank you so much. You guys, you gotta go to the bay and discover Cartier, okay? I'm just saying. Then, one last thing, because this is fun. I picked this up because everybody is in, I'm watching a lot of YouTube videos of people who are into like designer, like the Chanel, like the top of the line, Hermes, Chanel, Louis Vuitton, bags, clothing. It's fun. It's not my life. And so of course I couldn't resist and I picked up my own version, an affordable version. And this is the Aldo. And this is a really cute bag. It's a mini bag, but it isn't a micro bag. And this is the Priari. It's a lovely design. There's enough that I can put in here. It's a simple, not too busy, so it can go with all my clothes. I love that it has the A and the butterfly because there's a certain colored, certain colored butterfly that has a lot of meaning to me. And then the A also has a nod of meaning. I know it's supposed to mean Aldo, but it means something else to me. I haven't even used it yet. But, and then on the inside, it's so great. So it's really simple. All I have to do is do this and it opens. And then you've got the inside here, and you got a little sleeve here. You got a zipper here so you can put things and hide them in there, things that you don't want to fall out. And so it's got two openings, so it's perfect. And I did pick up one of the, what do they call it? An SLG small leather goods. Apparently that's what you call mini wallets and mini card holders, small leather goods. 
SLGs. Okay, so I'm coming, I'm like, you know, getting there, you know, I'm getting there. Affordable version, but I'm getting there. So I picked up an SLG at the Bay, and it's the perfect mini wallet. So it's got the little zipper here, very sleek, so you can put your little coins on the side. It has a little accordion right here, but not on this side, so it doesn't become bulky. So that's perfect. And then you open it up like this, and then it opens up so you can still put in some bills if you want to and it's got your little card holders here card holders there little flaps that you can put in and it's totally compact all at the same time it's like the perfect wallet but mini 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 version and sleek and nice right so you don't even put like you if you don't you just want to use it as a card holder it's perfect but it can be flexible enough to be used in other ways by putting bills and change all at the same time and still keeping to its very sleekness and so it can fit nicely in your mini bag I'm super happy that I picked this up so I'm super happy with my lovely amazing collective mega luxury haul and that I was able to do a show and tell and a mini review with you all. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly had fun doing it and doing the like the mini reviews and if you did enjoy it do give me whoops as one of them falls off. So don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and share it with your friends. I do remember that I may I do keep all the links in the description box so that you can go check it out for yourself. Also, don't forget, rock your own kind of beauty and keep on going and keep on glowing. I will 